and wiped out the dinosaurs and other species. Well, guys, Without there's there's like this theory I always thought, like, I didn't come up with it, but I saw it. What if, like, that asteroid was like a space carrier, like a UFO, and it had, like, a human in it? <laughs> Reapers, what's this good? It's Roy Laser, user of the Wives of Rackers, so more mystery reaction videos. You just loving the mystery content? So I can tune to over there for you guys in this video we're racking the mysteries that cannot be solved because there's so many unsolved mysteries in the universe that we just do not understand if you guys enjoy the reaction content and you just want more videos like this in the future it's simply just hit that like button you just subscribe and your notifications only takes less than a second let's dive straight into this video all right here we go i'm not ready for this mysteries bro the copper scroll treasure Ooh. an ancient copper scroll discovered the site of Qumran. In 1952, began an archaeological mystery that has never been solved. The scroll was found alongside the Dead Sea Scrolls in what is now the West Bank in Palestine. It dates back over 2,000 years to a time when the Roman Empire was in control of the Qumran settlement. So it's old. Researchers have long believed that the scroll describes where huge hordes of gold and silver are buried that were hidden by locals to stop the Romans getting their hands on it. But the trouble is, no one can decipher what is written. So to date, the location of the treasure and the true meaning behind the scroll is still a mystery. They can translate all those Egyptian writings, but can't translate that? I mean, shit, whatever. Rainbow clouds. Oh, shit. Rainbow clouds are an extremely rare weather phenomenon that when witnessed, leave some people feeling like something supernatural is about to happen. Not really a mystery, but certainly wondrous. And you can only think what our ancestors would have thought it's when beautiful. witnessing something like this. Beautiful indeed. This clip was filmed over Haiku City in China Yo. and left the internet stunned. Incredible. And despite fears that they signal the end of time or are the portal to another dimension, dude, there is in fact a perfectly valid scientific explanation for the spectacle. This isn't like real. The atmospheric optical phenomenon called cloud iridescence occurs when water droplets or ice crystals in the cloud distract the light around the outside of the droplet, as opposed to bending the light through it, meaning the colors are not as uniform as in a regular rainbow. That shit looks like out of a movie, movie, bro. Straight out of a movie. The formation is often short-lived, and very few people around the world will get to see one as Damn. spectacular as the one in China. That's cool as shit. That's actually really fucking cool. Damn, bro. Number three. How will the universe end? Well, according to science, it will end in one of three ways. The big chill, crunch, or rip. So what are the big bang With the big chill or big freeze, dark energy forces would force the universe to gradually expand until all that remains are burned out stars and dead planets Yo, whose temperatures would drop to an unsurvivable absolute zero. What the fuck? Or minus 273.15 degrees. The big crunch is basically a mirror image of the big bang if the amount of dark energy Fears. is not enough to resist the compressing force of gravity, the entire universe could collapse into a singular point. And the Big Rip is a scenario in which dark energy overwhelms all other forces, causing all galaxies, stars, it's and crazy. Other atoms to be torn apart. Could this just happen like any moment? We'll talk like more about this and all things astronomy over on our space channel, Access Astronomy. The shit could literally just happen. All scenarios anyway. are catastrophic, but in reality, no one really knows the answer. Or when this will happen. Just like our lives today were never promised, neither is the future. That's why you must take every moment to appreciate what you have right now. Because we have no idea what the future holds. Nary is right, going. bro. It's true, like, the world could literally just fucking disappear like that, bro. Like, that's crazy to think about. The Scottish Pompeii. Unlike the pyramids of Giza or Stonehenge, Scarabray in Scotland is relatively unknown. However, this Neolithic site predates both Stonehenge and the pyramids. In 1850, Scotland was battered by a horrific storm that That's claimed the lives of over 200 people. When it settled down, it left behind something extraordinary on the coast of mainland Orkney. The force of the high tides and strong winds had stripped away part of a knoll and uncovered the ruins of several small, roofless houses close to the shore of Bayoscale. That's actually the initial really efforts to excavate the site were pretty amateurish, and eventually it was abandoned in 1868. Damn. It remained untouched until 1925, when another storm damaged the structures. During efforts to protect the site, a seawall was built that uncovered even more houses. 
The homes were all consistent in design, each featuring a single central room with a fireplace and beds on either side. At first it was believed the houses had been occupied by people during the Iron Age, but with the emergence of radiocarbon dating in the 1970s, evidence suggested the site was much, much older and that the Skara Bray's earliest residents settled in 3180 BC and stayed in the area for over 600 years, placing the site in the Neolithic age. So what did they do when the rainstorms happened? The artifacts found at the site are so well preserved that it's the best preserved Neolithic human settlement in Northern Europe. So what happened to the people who lived there and why did they move out after 600 years, <laughs> leaving so many of their belongings behind? It goes to ass cheeks, bro. It's theorized that they were fleeing from some disaster and this evokes the image of Vesuvius raining down on the citizens of Pompeii. It's a thought that has earned Scarab Bray its nickname, the Scottish Pompeii. However, the truth is nobody knows why they left. Although the most likely explanation is that the area was buried gradually over time until the dunes completely swallowed up the settlement. This should be like an album cover, bro. Tell me this shit now, could not be an Scarab album cover. Scarab Bray is slowly being swallowed up by the ocean and it remains to be seen whether this unique window into the ancient past will ultimately be buried forever, taking its secrets with it. That's actually, nah dude, like living in a roofless house, I mean, that's unique. Black to transparent in Oh, what the fuck? Is that a squid? This footage of a squid is incredible and shows just how wonderful nature can be. <sighs> when the video first surfaced, many believed it was fake, but we believe that it's genuine. Don't they die when they- either a glass squid or a roof oh, squid. Oh no. Cause you to the circumstance it finds itself in. The squid is a cephalopod, a group that includes octopuses, squid, and cuttlefish. That's very cool. Some of which are skilled at changing color in as little as 200 milliseconds. They do this for several reasons, including to communicate, startle, or warn potential predators. Don't squids turn that color attraction when they die? Them. Like when you like... In the case of the one in the video, it is likely he's changing color because he was scared. Cause squids can die easily, like you just slap their neck and they die, and then they, they lose color usually. So the I thought he died. In 1929, a man repairing a sewage ditch in China's Sichuan province uncovered a treasure trove of jade and stone artifacts. Tiki head type shit. Further excavation was not carried out at the time, and a lot of the treasure ended up in the hands of private collectors. It wasn't until 1986, when the site was being excavated by archaeologists, that two more pits full of Bronze Age treasures, including jade, elephant tusks, and bronze sculptures were unearthed. Yo, what but the But who fuck? created these hidden wonders? It's believed that members of the Sanzingdui civilization were responsible, an ancient culture that collapsed between 3,000 and 2,800 years ago. It is known that the Sanzingdui lived in a walled city beside the banks of the Minjiang River. However, why they left and buried so many of their precious possessions in pits is a mystery. Interesting it indeed. has been suggested that maybe an earthquake rerouted the Minjiang River, causing the residents to flee. However, like many things from ancient history, no one really knows. That's actually really interesting. Interesting, bro. The Mysterious Oran Pendic. The island of Sumatra is Indonesia's largest island and the sixth largest in the world. Its tropical climate is host to a wide range of plants and animal species. Although in recent years, it has lost almost 50% of its rainforest. Oh, and many of the species that live there are now critically endangered. And that may include an unknown species of ape that is said to have roamed the forest for the past hundred years. Ape? You remember that skunk the ape? Pending, or short man. The creature is said to walk upright, standing at around four to five feet tall, with powerfully built shoulders and long muscular arms. Witnesses describe it as covered in black or honey-colored hair, with a mane running down its back. Sightings date back to the 1920s, some of them at very close range. In May 1927, a Dutch plantation worker called A.H.W. Kramer reported seeing an orang pendic from a distance of only 10 meters. Oh shit. It had long hair and black skin. The beast supposedly ran away, leaving small human-like footprints. The same year, the creature was said to have been caught in a tiger trap, but broke Yo. free. The traces of blood it left were examined by zoologist H.K. Dammerman, who concluded that it was not from a bear, gibbon, or human. It's believed the creature is a small, immensely strong, non-human primate 
that resembles a very muscular gibbon, which is probably an undiscovered great ape, closely related to the orangutan. Although the native people of Sumatra ascribe no supernatural powers to the creature, they do fear the beast, because even though it is not known to be aggressive, when scared, it will use rocks and sticks to protect itself. Fuck. Nowadays, the creature is only witnessed in the west of the island, specifically in and around Karinsi Seblat National Park. Well, if damn. zoologists can prove this creature exists, not only will it be an astounding discovery, but it may give vital clues to how bipedalism evolved into our own species. Speaking we'll of probably evolving. create a documentary on the orang pending on our early humans YouTube channel in the future. But if you'd like us to do an in-depth podcast episode on this mysterious creature on our Hit the Lights podcast, let us know in the comment section below. You guys think we evolved from creatures like that? I mean, we probably, like, probably, yeah. I don't know. Fate of the Ark of the Covenant. Ooh, lost The Ark of the Covenant is an artifact believed to be the physical manifestation of God's presence and supreme power. Oh, shit. According to the Bible, the gold-encrusted wooden chest contains the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. In ancient times, the box was kept in the first temple, a Jewish place of worship in Jerusalem. However, when the temple was destroyed in 587 BC Yo. by a Babylonian army, the Ark disappeared, and no one knows for sure what became of it. They lost the Ark, bro? Since its disappearance, many people, both real and fictional, have looked for the box, and it famously inspired Steven Spielberg's blockbuster movie, Raiders of the Lost. Dude, that's what I was thinking of, literally. That's a good Some fucking movie, by the way. Some reports say that the Ark made its way to Babylon, while others believe that the Ark was buried somewhere in Jerusalem, or that it was destroyed along with the first temple. I still think Temple of Doom was the best in the Jones, though. Ethiopia claims that the Ark resides in the Church of Our Lady, Mary of Zion, an Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo church located in the town of Aksum in northern Ethiopia, where it is closely guarded by a virgin monk who cannot leave the sacred grounds until his death. Despite these claims, the Covenant's ownership has not been verified, as apart from the monk, no one is allowed in the chamber where it allegedly resides. Dude, Most that... historians think that if it does still exist, the 3,000-year-old relic would be disintegrated by now. Of course, this is only speculation, and for many, the final fate of the Ark remains a fascinating and perhaps unsolvable ancient mystery. Guys, I never knew like the actual Indian Jones movie. Like, I didn't know that shit was actually inspired off an actual like art like that. That's actually really cool. Where is Cleopatra's tomb? Cleopatra's tomb has been lost for over two thousand years and has long been a source of intrigue for archaeologists and the public. Creepy as shit. So where is the tomb of the last queen of Egypt? Cleopatra, the legendary Egyptian beauty who bore children from both Julius Caesar and Mark Antony famously killed herself in 30 BC after being captured by Roman Emperor Octavian. Damn, they According killed themselves back then? She took her life by letting a venomous snake called an asp bite her. It is claimed she was buried with Mark Antony in a mausoleum described by the writer Plutarch as a lofty and beautiful monument located near a temple of the Egyptian goddess Isis. Yo, what but exactly fuck? where that is is shrouded in mystery. What the fuck is... The, the guy doing next year. Years, <laughs> a team led by Catherine Martinez has been excavating a site called Tapasirius Magna, located about 31 miles west of Alexandria. And although they have unearthed valuable ancient artifacts and coins minted during Cleopatra's reign, there is still no sign of her last resting place. No, that's However, really despite cool. the persistence of Martinez and her team, most archaeologists think that it's unlikely Cleopatra is buried there with many believing her tomb was likely built next to her palace in Alexandria, in an area that is now underwater. Yo. Even if the tomb is not underwater, there is a good chance that it was either destroyed, robbed, or buried beneath modern-day Alexandria. There is no plans in place to search for a tomb underwater, although past projects have looked at Cleopatra's palace and found nothing, and it's feared the enduring mystery of Cleopatra's tomb may never be solved. Maybe there is a young archaeologist out there now who will make it their life mission to find the tomb. Damn, bro, that's actually very interesting. Number 10. How will life on Earth end? <sighs> aliens, bro, life aliens. Is fragile, but also remarkably resilient. And according to scientists, the first living things appeared as far back as 4 billion years ago, at a time when colossal space rocks were still pounding Earth. 
Throughout its history, Earth has experienced all manner of catastrophes, from supernova blasts and asteroid strikes, to huge volcanic eruptions and sudden climate shifts, all of which have killed off various life forms. They say asteroids are going to hit us every Despite year, Despite this, life has always recovered, creating new species and evolving to every situation. So what exactly would it take to kill off all life forms on Earth forever? While an asteroid would do a good job for that. And we came close 66 million years ago, when a city-sized asteroid struck Earth and wiped out the dinosaurs and other species. Well, guys, Without there's, there's like this theory I always thought, like, I didn't come up with it, but I saw it. What if, like, that asteroid was, like, a space carrier, like a UFO, and it had, like, a human in it? And, like, that was us, like, entering Earth, and we wiped out the dinosaurs. You know what I'm talking about? That strike. I don't believe it, but likely still rule the world. Like, it was like a pod, almost like a an pod that carried people. Now would almost certainly wipe out humanity and many other life forms. But the good news is that if it does happen, it will not be for at least another 100 million years, according to NASA. <laughs> NASA always be coming up with new things. Next though, bro. up is deoxygenation, which is a more likely cause of life extinction. Around 2.5 billion years ago. A period called the Great Oxidization Event provided us with the breathable atmosphere we all now depend on. But when a sweeping climate change left the supercontinent covered with glaciers, it wasn't just the cold that killed off species, it was the plummeting oxygen levels. Researchers believed that the ice was responsible for changing the layers of the oceans and the concentrations of elements like oxygen. According to some estimates, more than 80% of life on Earth died during the late Ordovician mass extinction. In a worrying comparison to today, researchers claim that the change in the climate is already reducing oxygen levels in our oceans, potentially killing off marine species. So is it only a matter of time before the oxygen levels get too low to sustain human life here on Earth? What do you think? Ooh, that's Next up is a gamma ray burst. What Over the, the years, fuck? researchers have theorized that what sparked the global cooling of the late Ordovician mass extinction could have been a gamma ray burst, or GRB for short. It's like a laser, dude. Like a, GRB just laser. Are unexplained violent energetic explosions in the cosmos that astronomers suspect are linked to extreme supernova. To date, we haven't yet seen a burst close enough to Earth to fully comprehend what's going on. Yo, that's And so crazy. far, GRBs have only been spotted in other galaxies. However, yeah. if one did happen in the Milky Way, it could potentially cause a mass extinction here on Earth. I mean, I wonder why. It looks like a whole other fucking portal, and dude. And lastly, we have the aging of the sun. Perhaps the most likely and devastating scenario of how life on Earth will end. Does the sun like explode or something? In about shit? a billion years from now, as the sun gets older, and puts out more energy, eventually Earth will reach a point where atmospheric carbon dioxide breaks down and plants and organisms that need photosynthesis to survive will die. Damn! Without the life forms that help to sustain the oxygen-rich atmosphere we require to live, humans and other animals will be unable to survive. Researchers That's... are sure that this will happen eventually. That's scary. But the good news is, we still have about a billion years to prepare for it. Damn! So, that's just a handful of the millions of wonders and mysteries of our world and the universe. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like us to talk more about mysteries... Damn, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, that lost arc, like, I instantly thought of Indian Jones. Like, let me know what you guys thought about that. That was very interesting. If you guys enjoy the reaction content, you want more mystery videos like this in the future, you guys are going to have to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! <laughs>